Welcome back to another episode of Bag Milk. I'm your host, Brian Bridges, and this is a hot, hot fucking Alberta day. Holy fuck. It's like plus 31 right now, and it's the evening. I usually do these first thing in the fucking morning when it's nice and cool. Just get out of bed, shake the cobwebs off, get it the fuck done. But the day I usually do them was my daughter's birthday party. So, of course, I had to uh, rearrange some things. Uh, so now we're doing it in the fucking evening, and it's fucking hot. Ugh. But, by the Lord's grace, he built me an air conditioner. So, I'm not too shabby. But, right now, I'm not too shabby. But I had to work an entire fucking day, 12 hours, in the fucking heat, and then come home and do this. Thank fuck for AC. Oh my fucking God. It's too hot, man. It's got to be the global warming. That must be it. Or it could be the fact that it's summer and it's our first few hot days. I'm just getting used to it. I'll tell you what, though. I'll tell you what, it's getting so fucking hot, I'm bringing them back. I'm bringing back the men's crop top. That's right, you heard it here first. I'm not fucking around. I'm bringing it back. If you Google one now for sale, it's all these frilly fucking lacy fucking things. Crop tops, if you look it up, the history... It was a men's fashion only. And then somehow it got adopted to women. I'm not complaining that it did. It's a benefit for us all, for sure. But why the fuck did all of a sudden the crop top become just for uh, a gay guy? A uh, femme. Uh, I'm not, I, why? They used to be, the NFL jerseys uh, were crop tops. What the fuck? NFL, right? Yeah. Now, no. No, don't mean that no more. You can't find one that's not uber gay. So I'm fucking bringing it back. I'm bringing it back. Probably. Got to get a little fitter. Got to at least, if you're going to bring the crop top back, you got to bring some show. You can't just fucking have your pork belly fucking hanging out there. You got to have some, you know, got to have some representation. You got to have something down there. I think. If that's in my opinion. Fuck me if I know what I'm talking about. I'll tell you that. I have not a sweet fucking clue. But, in my opinion, if you're going to wear a crop top for a man, that's not wearing the frilly ones, you should have a package. You should have at least two or three showing some kind of ab work. you, you got to show it, man. That's, that's the whole point of the crop. And it's too hot, man. What are you gonna run in a full a full shirt or a tank? What you know? But you don't want to, you know. You don't want to be running around with your nipples all out. Maybe I don't know your business, or you you just you know your upper chest gets cold, uh, and you just want you know just a little coverage. That's fine. That's fine. Just got to figure it out. Apparently, you got to build your own. So I'm going to have to build my own. I'll go down to Value Village. Pick out one with a nice little fucking design across the top. Uh, nothing, you know, 
no strawberry shortcakes or nothing, but something, something cool. I don't know. I'll figure it the fuck out, bud. Yeah, I could be wearing a crop top now. You wouldn't fucking know. You wouldn't know. So fuck you. You wouldn't know the difference. Still the same fuck. Still the same asshole. Whatever, man. Fucking crop top. We can get one. I'll tell you that. I'm not too fucking worried about it. What, someone going to yell at me at the beach? Nice fucking crop top, fag. <gasps> Uh, yo, yo, yo. It's, um, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm fucking my emotions. It's uh, me with my fucking six pack of abs. You're gonna go cry over here, you fuck. I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. I've never been too worried. Uh, I, and I've, I've always tried to create my own stees, my own style. Fuck, I was the first person. In my fucking junior high to wear a hat backwards. <sighs> like, I got criticized for wearing my hat backwards. It was fucked. I got criticized for a lot of things. But all in the name of fucking my own fucking style. If everyone's doing it, I don't want to do it. So if no one's doing it, that's when I got to get back into it. So crop tops are coming back. And then as soon as everyone's doing them, I'll back the fuck out. I'll figure something out. I'll be like, fucking crop tops are out. Long long ones are in. That's all it's all about. You need full coverage. What are you, dumb fucks? What are you trying to do? You trying to stay cold? I'll make something up. Just for fucking fun of it, man. That's what I do. That's what I do. I change it up anyway. Same as facial hair. Sometimes I could grow a beard. Sometimes I don't. I'm n- I'm not dedicated to either way. Sometimes you just be like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's grow it. And then I'll grow it for fuck three months, six months to shave it. I don't give a fuck. It's just hair. Some people get right super dedicated to the fucking that beard life, eh? They're like, oh my fuck. It's just facial hair. It's fucked. What are you? You mountain man, do you need that to keep your face warm? Or maybe, then that's fine. But I mean, you're just growing it mostly for fashion. I don't give a fuck. If you're going and get beard oils and fucking brushes and combs and um, detanglers and d- d- straighteners, uh, it's for fashion. It's not for use. Come on. Who you, who the fuck are you kidding? It ain't me. I'll fucking tell you that. That ain't no joke. I, I don't see the point. So I just, I grow it, I shave it, I come, like whatever. Same with my hair. I'll grow it, I'll fucking shave it today. What's the fucking difference? It's, who cares? It's fucking hair. What? What? Like some people get so hard up. Like, well, my fuck, if my hair isn't did up. Like I've seen people. Listen, I've seen it with my own eyes on my job sites up north in Fort McMurray. Now, I'm not saying like these are rough bunches of people up there, but they're they're not soft usually they're usually a pretty standard breed across the board or above but this guy i don't know how he made it i I don't know like he would hard hat working in the oil fields uh you know construction and then in between breaks come in take his hard hat off Regel his hair, comb it, and then sit there for 15 minutes to just put his fucking hair up back on. And what the fuck? Who are you trying to impress? All the dudes? Maybe, but he never, never said anything to me. Well, oh, come on. He definitely hit 
on me if he was swinging that way, I'll tell you that. Even if he knew I was straight, he'd definitely try to take a swing. It's a swing and a miss. What? He wouldn't know unless he tried, and he would have. Trust me. Trust me. But he didn't, so he wasn't. I'm pretty sure he had a female acquaintance, too. Maybe it was for show. Who knows? What the fuck do I know? Not much. Not much, I tell you that. But who the fuck does that? Who? Like, of anyone. Honestly, when I was younger, I would, I was more like that. But not that bad. I would never go to that extreme, but I was definitely a fucking... A uh, 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 pretty boy, I guess. I guess. Like, I was always, every two weeks, gotta get your hair did. Always get to the latest fucking clothes. The fucking, you know, Tommy Hilfiger in the 90s fucking flashing it. $500 jackets. You know, two $200 boots. No big deal. You know, I used to be able to walk into this one store, the Haberdashery. I don't know if if anyone's listening remembers the Haberdashery back home, Prince Edward Island, Summerside. Uh, Haberdashery was in the Waterfront Mall. And if I want to go way back before the Haberdashery, in that same location was the Electronic Avenue Arcade. But anyway, at the haberdashery, uh, I became good friends with the gentleman, the manager. Uh, He may have been the owner for all I know. Maybe. I can't remember. But I became such a good customer that if a fresh Coke just came out, uh, he would hit me up. And then I would be able to go in and just take it and then pay for it later. At like 16 years old. That's the most fucking clout I have ever had in my entire life, I think. Like, uh, that's the most I could ever feel like a rich person. Like, who the fuck does that? I did. At 16 years old. So maybe uh, I was a little bit of a pretty boy, maybe. I wasn't sure. Maybe that's why people were jealous. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I just fucking. But yeah, man, I always stayed try fresh, but I didn't think of myself as a pretty boy ever, really. Maybe. Maybe. Just trying. Just trying. To. With clothes. Now I don't give a fuck. Even when I came here, man, you get a little money and you want to try some, you know, new shit. I've worn Armani and shit like that and all the, you know, the new brands out here in the big city. And then, and then fucking got to show for it. Nothing. So I don't do that no more. There's no point to that. There's no point. No point for me anyway. If you want to do that, that's cool. And, I mean, if I was a millionaire, yeah, some of that shit, of course, it, uh, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. That's for sure. Some of it is higher quality. Uh, not all of it, but some of it. That's for sure. That's fucking right. I had to change that fucking light. It's right off. It was right off. It was bugging me. I'm sorry. I had to fix it. It's the way she goes sometimes when you do these fucking things all by yourself. Sometimes you just got to deal with those little things. Yeah. Fucking. Now I'm checking my messages. So unprofessional. See, I don't do this during the daytime because no one's the fuck up when I get up to do them. And now, all these fucking distractions, fucking shit's going on. Mm. Good old salt water. Fucking get at me. 
Still fucking doing a fast. Crushing that out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast this shit out till... What's today? What is today? Let me... I just checked the phone. Okay, it's today. Okay, it's, so the, it's the end of July. So it's the end of July. So I got, you know, I got a couple more weeks and I go on vacation. <gasps> I go on vacation. That's, I think, I'll shut that the fuck down. And then I just try to eat as late as I can in the day. It's not like just because I'm on vacation, I'm just going to be out fucking pig in face just because I'm on vacation. I still just am going to be sitting around most days just chilling. So as long as I can still just wait to the end of the days and pig out then, it's way better. Guaranteed. That's just science. Look at the fuck up. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not your doctor, but fasting works. The longer you can hold out throughout the day, like if you're just going to do a one like a day, if you want to eat each and every day, okay, that's fine. Try to hold out as long as you can. Uh, shortest being like eight hour window. And then if you can do an eight hour window and that's easy, scrunch it. Just over time, scrunch it. Seven, six, five, four. I'm pretty much at a three hour window. When I do eat, when I'm not doing these three-day fasts, I'm just going to do this for a couple more weeks, and then I'm going to go the three-hour window, the three the three-hour window, uh, once a day, three 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 out three hour three hour three-hour window, once a day, once a day. That's not that bad. I, I can I like pigging out anyway. And I'm at the end of the day, I just want to relax and have a full belly. That's perfect. During the day, I don't like a full belly. I don't. And fucking like if I even when I used to eat lunches and breakfast, you just I'd get a full belly and then you're just like sluggish. Right? You fucking know it. You get sluggish. I don't get like that. I don't get sluggish I, until at the end of the day when I want to or, you know, pretty much. I just take in and then I, I just count them. Since it's right there sitting in front of me, I count my calories and I stay, you know, whatever. Whatever I want. Whatever the fuck I want. If I want to eat 2,000, 2,500, if I want to eat 3,000, but you're going to have to work out at that point. But figure it out. Don't eat too low. That's the key. That's the fucking key. You can't eat too low. Because if you keep, if you hold on to a low, you you get used to it. And then too low. Like if if you hit a thousand calories, okay, that's too fucking low. It's too low. Why? Because you get used to it, okay? And then you got no room to go down. You can go down, but that sucks. And if you go up to 1,400, you're going to gain fucking fat now because your body got used to 1,000. 1,000 was your number. Now you want to go 1,400 because you're hungry again? Now you're going to get weight for a little bit anyway till you get used to it and or pick up your exercise, and that sucks. So just keep it high. Keep it high. Let it get used to it. You know, don't go fucking 5,000 like a fucking idiot but you know if you're a guy you know two twenty five hundred if you're working out more figure it out a girl you know 18 50, no don't hit 15 18 two two's good 2200 that's fine that's fine and then just sit there and eat it all one fucking sitting or a couple sittings i have like I'll come off, and then immediately, it's like a protein shake. Just have a protein shake. One, because I probably just finished the gym. So I fucking fast all day, and then I hit the gym like a fucking beast. 
And then uh, I come home, protein shake, right away, and uh, wait for supper to be cooked. And then finish off my whatever fin- whatever calorie supper is, and then I top it up with whatever. Whatever I want. It's that easy. Whatever I want. Just count them. Just one, two, three. If you can count, you can stay lean. It's that fucking easy. I don't know how else to put it. Count them. If you're not counting them, if you're just guessing and then you're just cheating and you just think, oh, this little thing isn't going to count and that little thing isn't going to count. and then It all fucking counts. It all counts. There's even uh, certain diet products that fuck it up for you. You think you're fine drinking them during fast and it'll spike your insulin, which is bad. That's the whole point of doing a fast is you don't want that uh, uh, until you want it right you don't want you don't want fuel going to the engine unless you have ignition or it's just fucking gonna flood it i don't know if that makes any sense if the two would go together i'm not sure but we're gonna say it like that anyway because that's how i fucking roll i do what i want it's my show it's my show. Make sure you like and subscribe. Stop fucking around. I see you listening. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go leave a review. There's a bunch of you. Just listen every week. Thank the Lord. Thank you. Love you right to death. But just go and make a five star on your podcast. If you listen, try to write a review. Just be like fucking, oh, funny shit. Uh, okay. he's a weirdo, but he's okay. Uh, yeah, he's funny looking, but he tells cool stories sometimes. Not that much, but every now and again, it's a gem. You know, stuff like that. Good, good reviews. And if you're on the YouTube, subscribe over here somewhere. And then there's a little bell. Click the little bell and hit all notifications. Because you want to know. You Want to fucking know when bag milk is uh, dropping. Dropping like it's hot. These fucking late, lately episodes are all fucky. I almost missed this one too. I was almost going to be like, you know what? Fuck, there's not a whole lot of people doing it. Uh, listening anyway, so it's not a big deal if I fucking miss it. No, it's a big deal to me. There is a few of you that listen all the time. And that's why I do it. I don't care if it's like just one of you at the end of the day. No, nah, it'd be a little weird. A little weird. Then it might be like a stalker situation getting around. And then I'd be like, okay, now I got to move again. And we all know I hate fucking moving. So... Uh, yeah, try to like, subscribe, share with your friends, tell them about it, uh, make sure you download, just even downloading the episodes helps everything, everything helps, you're all big fucking helpers, thanks, thanks, thanks a lot, do that, fuck, so what else is new, nothing, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson's new. Well, he's not new. He's fucking old. Old as fuck. But in wicked fucking shape. Wicked shape. He's back. We've talked about this before. You've seen him train. He's back. He's got a fight. Everyone thought it was going to be Evander. Evander came in at retirement same time. It was, you know, a logical conclusion. I thought it. We all thought it. But no. Now it's 100% confirmed. Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. That's fucking hard to say fast, eh? Roy Jones Jr. You try it. You try it. Here, I'll listen. Try it. Don't do it in your head. Say it out loud. If 
if you're at work, just fucking just say quiet. Right. Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Jesus. Roy Jones Jim. Roy Jones. Roy Jones. Roy. Roy Jones. Roy Jones Jr. Jesus. Fuck. Roy Jones. Even when I say it like that, I got stressed the O for some reason. Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Roy Jones Jr. Jesus fuck. Whatever, man. Anyway, they're boxing. They're going to get it on. Not sexual. Not sexual healing. No. No. They're not going to get it on. Fucking perverts, man. A whole lot of these. Not me, though. Uh, I'm just waiting to watch some box. To put their dukes up and get in the ring and square it up. Uh, uh, if you don't know, they're both roughly same age. I think one's 51, one's 56. But it's been a lot longer for Mike uh, since he's been in the ring. Uh, from what I've been told, I don't follow boxing either. But I, uh, I look up stuff. I see things. I'm on the web and air sometimes, and uh, I come across some things. Uh, it's like a busy street, and sometimes I'm walking around, I see some things, okay? So, I think Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr., Roy Jones Jr., fuck, not too bad. Uh, uh, I think he fought like two years, they said he retired like two years ago, or something. Maybe it was an old article I seen. Could be from 2008, and he retired in 2006. I'm an idiot. But maybe he did retire two years ago. But either way, he was a heavyweight as well. He was the first, and I think still only, person to start as a lightweight or whatever and move up to a heavyweight. So that's pretty fucking cool. So he's not to be fucked with. He, you know, he's not, you know... He's not a chump. He's, uh, if you don't, you know, if you don't follow boxing at all, uh, he's up there. He's not just going to be a toy for Mike to play with. It's definitely uh, different leagues, uh, but we'll see how it goes. It could be different fight style. I assume Mike's going to be, like, swinging for the fucking fences, and I, I assume Roy be a little quicker fucking a fighter, but maybe Mike's fucking fast for his age. If you've seen those videos again, man, woo! He's a quick motherfucker. I tell you that. I wouldn't want if he hit me once. He'd kill my children. That's right. Like he'd probably kill my children's children. Like any chance? It yeah. It's not. He's not a regular man. I don't think. He's not from this world. There's some people you just can tell they're just... That's not... That's not human. Uh, or he may be... Maybe homo... Momo? Like, we're homo sapiens. Uh, and maybe he's just a different homo. Uh, a new advanced breed. I believe there's probably a bunch of those kicking around. And we just don't know or... Uh, don't have the desire to reclassify these people as a uh, new species. Like, Homo sapiens existed at the same time as other homos. Like, Ho Homo florencia, I believe it was. They're little fucking, little hobbits, bro. Little hobbits. Hopping around. They found them on their own island, uh, untouched for thousands of years. And we lived amongst them, and then they died off. We probably killed them, probably slaved them and killed them. And then there's other ones, man. Homo erectus, of course, and uh, a bunch of homos. Just a bunch of homos running around. Uh, homos everywhere, man. It was, a, it was a different time. It was a gay old time. Uh, homos everywhere. But now uh, the sapiens basically, of course, I think just wiped them all the fuck out because we're a bunch of fucks. Uh, we can't, we can't, look at me, look at me. Check out my fucking phone on the podcast. I'm like a piece of shit. 
You can tell this ain't a morning podcast. That's for damn sure. But yeah, a bunch of us running around. So, but now it's just us. Just us. I don't know what I was talking about. That happens sometimes. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You going to cry? No. You just get over it. Fucking move on with your life. That's what I'm trying to do. Always trying to get fucking better. Always. Something. It's too short to just stay still. Too short of a life to stay still. Right? You may be like, what? No, it's just stay still. Stay still. Stay still safe. Stay still safe. Stay still safe. Sound like Rain Man. Stay stay still safe. Wap, wap nerd seven. Wap nerd seven. Stay still safe. Stay still safe. But... No, it, it's not that short. It's pretty long and you can make some huge, not like Trump, huge, huge, but huge changes and improvements in a very short time. And I think if we can, then you should. Why not? Why sit there? That's me though. That's what I'm trying to do now. Uh, took me uh, all my life to figure this out until today. Now, I figured it out lately. I'm starting to figure it out. I haven't figured it all out yet, but I'm figuring it out. Maybe this podcast is helping other people figure it out. And that's why I do it, really. Well, no, I don't. I don't know why we're doing it. We, that's the whole point of the podcast, though, is to figure out why we're doing a podcast. Is to just figure it out. We're just figuring it out. Stuff and things. Life and stuff. Fitness. And drinks. Oh, homo sapiens. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's a homo, a uh, fucking homo mysterious. He's a master, master homo. He's a master homo. I wouldn't call him that to his face, but he's a master homo. So, uh, I, th- in my opinion, I think he'll fuck f- fucking Roy Jones up, but Roy Jones might just get in there and fucking pepper him. And lay him the fuck out. And the whole point is, they can't even cut. Can't even cut one cut, call the fight. What? Lame. There's other lame rules, too. It's only eight rounds. Uh, And Mike's all... He Mike's... This is what I mean. I don't know. He says he's going to go all in. He says he, he doesn't know how to take his foot off the gas. Okay, that's fine. Great. Perfect. That's what I want to hear. But... He's given all the proceeds uh, away. So, I mean, I guess. I don't know. You just love the fight so much. You just, it's the game, right? So you're just like, fuck it. I just want in. And then just give, I'm good. The fight business has been good to me. That's what he says. So, you know, maybe just take his word at it. Just shut the fuck up. Why am I why am I babbling on about why he's doing it? Maybe he just loves it. Maybe he just loves it, wants to atone for his past sins. Who knows? Let's see, though. I don't know when the fight is. Let's fucking look that up, actually. Oh, when the fuck is the fight? Uh, Mike Tyson Roy Jones Jr. Fight one day. Fight date. Is there a fight? September. September 12th. September 12th. Exhibition match, they're calling it. Ooh. Exhibition. Oh, man. Oh, that's probably what fucking fell. 
My little light remote. I don't even have my lights on. Aww. Aww. Mm. Sound like a little rice rocket. Little ricer. I loved. I used to have one. I used to have 1993 Acura Integra. 1.8 liter. I fucking loved it. I fucking loved it. I could get 130 kilometers an hour in second gear. In second gear. And apparently, one of my buddies, he dropped in a 2.2 liter uh, Honda motor and he could get 180 in second gear. Whoa. For anyone that doesn't know, there's three more gears. The fifth one doesn't really count too much, but you can push it a little. But yeah, man, fuck. He could go. I remember taking that thing from Halifax, Nova Scotia, to Prince Edward Island. Normally, a three-hour drive. I did it the entire way, uh, basically 180 kilometers an hour. Like, I was going around curbs, eh, curbs, yeah, fucking curbs at 180 kilometers an hour, just like they were fucking, just like they were snails, uh, caterpillars on the road, just hitting fucking curbs. <laughs> no. I was up on the uh, the turns, the turns, and they kind of uh, angle a bit. I fucking up those. You could feel the wheels, like, lifting. Didn't let it off. This is before I had kids. I didn't give a fuck. Just let her pound. Let her buck, buddy. Not now. It's a little different story now, though. I'll do... 108 in 100, maybe. Cruise control. I'm not getting speeding tickets. I'm not dumb. Too many now. It's photo everywhere. Why bother? I'm not that fast. I'm not that big of a hurry. Not no more. But that little Acura, man. That little ricer. Fucking soup that up with the big fart pipe on her. Oh, yeah. I shed a tear when that fucker died. I shed a tear. I just heard little knockings. It was little knockings at first. It, when the engine was running. What the fuck? Well, what the fuck is that? Tried some Lucas. No one could figure it out. I think we changed the alternator. Someone thought it was the alternator. We changed the alternator. I took it from a buddy's house. To my place, didn't even make it. Maybe seven minute drive. Didn't make it. Started bucking violently and then fucking crashed out. I thought the motor was coming right through the hood. I thought something, you know, I don't know when it says throwing rods or whatever. If fucking something's going to come right through the hood or through the cab into me i have no idea i'm not a car guy no idea so i got scared and then she just died and then when the tow truck came it was leaking its fluids but then it kind of stopped but then when the tow truck lifted it up it like activated it again and it all bled out it was like it was bleeding and it was dying and it died it's dead it was dead May she rest in peace. I'm sure if I was more mechanically inclined, I could have found a fucking motor super easy somewhere. But this is PEI. We don't have, like, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Could have found maybe a motor. Uh, but I don't know how to do that stuff. That's not me, man. That's not me. That would have dirtied up my clothes. That would have dirtied up my clothes. And I wouldn't want that. 
I got to look fresh in the fucking Acura. Oh, I had a system in that, bitch. I customized the speaker grills. I worked at a fab shop for uh, making subway train panels and shit. So I had access to fiberglass and a full-size industrial paint booth. So I fucking made those suckers shine, built my speakers in, customized gear shifts. Yeah, buddy. Pimping. Painted my sub box. Fuck that stupid carpet, uh, carpet looking shit. Took that off, primed it up, sanded it, painted it. Nice. Nice. Car quality paint too. Fuck yeah. She was a bad bitch. May she rest in peace. This is for you. Hmm. No more racers for me. Jeep life for me. I still haven't even had the top off. Hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. Why can't I take the top off? I'm fucking working. I work all the time. Are you guaranteed? Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Garen fucking teed. I get a day off. It's going to rain. I might just take the fucking top off anyway, take the top off anyway, and just sit in the fucking rain, soak it up, drive it around, top off, fuck it, it's cheap life, that's what it's all about, I'm not too worried, that's what it's, 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 it's about getting wet, it's about getting dirty, it's cheap life, you're supposed to. You, uh, women, uh, hashtag cheap hair don't care. Let the wind take that hair. It's a mess. You're supposed to mess. Uh, figure it out, man. We have like Jeep hoodies, special Jeep hoodies. You gotta keep them in the Jeep because you don't know. Might get cold. Might be warm now. Might be cold later. No top on, no doors on. What are you gonna do? We got to get Jeep hoodies. Jeep hoodies. It's only logical. Think about it. Always have Jeep hoodies. That's my number one. Someone's going to have like a fire hydrant or a shovel or like a big axle uh, tire changer thing. Me? Jeep hoodies. Uh, I'm not about that mud in life. Uh, my Jeep life is just the freedom. It's like it's told you before, if you've listened, Jeeps are like motorcycles for the family man. And it's the closest thing he can get. So doesn't I don't have to go mudding with my motorcycle, okay? No. I just take my doors off, top us off, and feel the freedom. Fucking relax. Just get into it. Foot out the door. I built some foot pegs. Oh, yeah. Foot out the door. Beautiful times. Beautiful. Oh, fuck. I got to do it. You better not fucking rain on my day off. When is it? I'm gonna. I'm going to tell you, yeah? Let me see. And then you'll know. Look up my weather for Edmonton. And if it's fucking raining, no, I'm fucking fuming. Or at least give me some good vibes. That should be a nice, warm day. What day am I not working? Next what? Monday? What's today? I have no idea. Next Monday. No matter... When you hear this, I don't know when the next Monday, what is that date? That's the 3rd, 3rd of August. If it's fucking raining on the 3rd of August, I'm going to lose my fucking shit. I guarantee it. Just, just give me some good fucking, some weather vibes. That's all I need. I don't ask for much. Like, share, subscribe, weather vibes, 
That's all fucking easy shit. You know? I could set up a fucking GoFundMe, but I don't. That's be fucking pretty cheesy. I can't handle GoFundMe's. I, I, I don't know. They got super abused, I feel like. Sometimes I do feel like just setting one up because I feel like sometimes they just get, you know, they get just abused and some people just don't care. You could put funny ones. He's like, I don't, I don't really give a fuck. I don't need this fucking money, but I want to see if you dipships will give me any. And then someone will fucking give you money just so they can tell you to fuck off. He's like, what? Thanks. I don't give a fuck. What you say? Thanks for the money. But yeah, man, I, I don't know. It's like, oh man, hey man, I'm uh, I've always been poor. And now, uh, something bad happened and now I need even more money. And it's like, no, that's not, that's not a good situation. I don't know, but there's times, there's times, uh, and it's just like, they're just begging and it's just like, uh, Hey man, uh, we spent all our money on fucking coke this week, and we need to buy the baby diapers. Uh, hit us up with the GoFundMe, please. And it's like, what the fuck? You can't be, you can't be serious. Mm. This is one of these things, what I'm drinking, that won't break a fast and is fucking delicious tea is also one thing which is highly recommended i don't really you know but if you're gonna drink a sweet tasting beverage this is the fucking shit zevia zero calories and it's just made from fucking stevia stevia comes from a leaf uh not that it comes from a leaf that it's no calories it's just is and it doesn't uh cause and insulin response and that's what we want to try to avoid so it's one way of getting a sweet tasty beverage with uh, no fucking no real penalties so check it out zevia made with stevia little stevia so fucking good they have everything Fucking black cherry, cream soda, root beer. This is just regular cola, orange, uh, ginger ale. I think that's it. I don't know. There might be more. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But they're fucking all delicious. I don't even like orange. And it's uh, it's not like too orangey. But it's not under orangey. You know what I mean? You don't want fucking under orange. I tried this fucking bubbly shit. Buble. Uh, that's garbage. If you've had bubbly, that's just watered down shit. Piss. It's watered down piss. It's gross. It's not a good. It's it's not good. It's f- flavored water. I get it. But this tastes like a fucking pop. But... I guess if you don't, if you just want a hint of fucking flavored water, I mean, but go get tonic water and give it a squirt of fucking meal. Why waste your money on bubbly? It's stupid. It's stupid. Don't do it. Don't give that company your money. Don't waste your time. Go with Zevia. I don't, I don't have any stock in Zevia, though if you buy enough of it, let me know first and I'll get some stock, okay? We'll all get stock. And then we'll just buy Zevia. It's fucking delicious. I can't I can't even I can't can't describe it. Uh it's basically it's like a it's a, it's a mini orgasm in my mouth. It's a party and everyone's coming in my mouth. It's fucked up. I, I don't know how else to describe it. That, that, that's that's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. <sighs> She's been a long fucking weekend, I'll tell you that. It's been a long one. It's just right in my fucking face. Right in my fucking 
face. I'm fucking faced, man. I had fucking, like I said, my daughter's birthday. Man, I broke out. I broke out. I popped. I. This is going to sound fucked up because it's my daughter's birthday. But just listen to the full sentence. I popped the cherry of my smoker. They've broken the smoker. Yeah. I've used my uh, new smoker for the first time. Fucking cooked up two pork tenderloin. Pork tenderloin, a long fucking. It's not the long circle thing. It's a long. And it's got a, a string almost. It's a fucking delicious. And I smoked it for a couple hours. And I put a rub on it. It was honestly the best goddamn way I've ever tasted meat that I've cooked in my entire life. It's probably better than what I've had that most people cooked. Like even restaurants. Uh, I'm not saying it's uh, I've co- I that I personally cooked it well. I just think that the smoker did such an amazing job. It just raised that flavor level. That man, you picked up a piece of pork, pork, which is notoriously, notoriously, notoriously fucking dry. This pork, you shake it like this, you shake it, it was dripping. It was dripping and flapping with juices it was so good you could see that smoke ring if you don't know now you know you smoke something you get a nice little smoke ring on the outer cross oh my god it's fucking fantastic i couldn't believe it i I want to eat the whole thing myself of course i indulged that day i was not fasting on my daughter's birthday i pigged out on my deliciously smoked pork tenderloin i wanted to also do a smoked queso oh my god it would have been those so delicious i'm gonna do a next day off i'll tell you all about it next time but it'll be fucking delicious Hot Italian sausage, a uh, couple kinds of cheese, habanero peppers, uh, spicy tomatoes. It's on the smoker. Oh my god, I can't wait. Oh my god, I should break it out now. Ugh. No, no, I got another day on this fast. It's so easy now. It's so easy. But. Yeah, a smoker. And then what else did I have? I had beers. I had the new Budweiser fucking flavored light beers. Uh, apple, Rattler, which is grapefruit, lime, orange. I had a bunch of those. I ate some treats that the, the Danny made, the girlfriend. Um, Danielle. Uh, Danny, uh, bunch of fucking, man, that bitch is fucking crazy. I'm a little bit worried now living under the same roof. Like I knew she was semi crazy before. Like she tried to kill me a couple times, poisoning my food and stuff. Uh, I no solid proof per se, but I'm on to her. Uh, and now this bitch is certifiably fucking crazy. She stayed up the entire night, no wink of sleep, working on a six year old's birthday party she's fucking looney tunes like i'm sure she must have been talking to people while i was going to bed like 
What? You fucked, Danny. You don't do that. I kept telling her. If you put this much effort into a six-year-old's birthday party, as you would the rest of your life, we'd be millionaires. Millionaires. I couldn't... Oh, it broke my heart. But she's... uh, Now I know. It broke my heart that I knew she stayed up all night long. But now I know that she's fucking certifiable. I got to watch my back. Even more so. I wasn't sure before. Well, I was pretty fucking sure. But now I'm 110% sure that I got to watch my back. Wash my back? Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Because Danny is a special breed. Uh, I don't know if she's homo mysterious or mysteria, uh, master homo, or something. I think she's just a different breed of her own. Because um, she's all broken. So she's not like on, I don't think she's the homo master, but she's a different homo that's, she's got a drive to her. Now we just got to focus that drive on other things besides six-year-old birthday parties with that same dedication. And she's going to rule the world or kill me in my sleep. We're not really sure yet. It's uh, TBD, but TB fucking D, to be determined. Uh, it's more of a, I think at this point, uh, you could probably start a pool among your friends. Uh, it's uh, more of a when and not of a uh, what if, right? So, you know, just let me know if one you get one going on. Uh, fuck, uh, I can participate as long as I don't, you know, tell her what day I pick. Kill me on this day, you know. And I just be like, you know, I'm playing off the cuff, just same as you. Uh, and then we'll figure it out from there. Let's figure it out together. Uh, I think. Cause, yeah, I don't know how. I wonder how she would do me in. She tried to poison me. I think now she would almost have to get me in my sleep. I think. Or she's not crafty enough to, like, figure out. Like, she could be like, yeah, I'll cut the brake lines in the car. But she'd be like, I don't. What the fuck are brake lines? Like, she doesn't know enough about cars and stuff. So she couldn't, she couldn't hurt the car on me and try to plan it like that. I think, uh, and she doesn't, she's, she doesn't make enough on her own to hire a hitman. So I think that's out of the question. I think she'd have to get her hands dirty on this one, uh, for sure. And then, like I said, I don't think that's a problem for her. I think she's already tried. Uh, poisoning my food and whatnot. No proof, but, well, we'll see. We'll see. I love her, though. She's a great girl. Uh, but I think she'd have to do it in my sleep. Um, the question is how? Because it would have to be fucking quick, right? Because Danny's a bigger girl. And, uh, but that don't, that don't fucking matter. I, man, if I wake up and this bitch trying to kill me, I'll, I'll throw that, I'll throw that fucking bitch across the room. I don't give a fuck how heavy she is. Man, I'll, I'll buck up like a rabbit. You know what I mean? I'll put those feet up underneath me. Up on, you know what I mean? You know, like a rabbit fucking kicks off and I'll get right up underneath me and I'll fucking put my feet right into her belly. I'll fucking fire that. I'll fire that fucker right across the room. And that's it. And then. I foiled her plan. I'm like, will you fucking go to back to sleep? 
You got to work in the morning. And so what's her best plan? Well, why am I even discussing this? She could be listening. And she'd be like, just taking down notes. Like, right, can't, can't do it with a knife. He'll kick me across the room, bunny kick style. Wear chest protector with spikes. What the fuck? Okay, that's enough of that. I'm not giving any more tips. I'm shutting my mouth. That's it. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, shut her down. I'm done for the week. Uh, that's enough chatter to me. I'm um, letting many, too many beans spill all over the place, and that's enough of that. Yeah. So, make sure you have a good fucking week. Do some shit. New shit. I, I love it when people do new stuff. Uh, and just enjoy it. Hopefully it's wicked fucking weather where you are, and you don't have to work all week, and you can enjoy it. And that's my wish for you. So you wish me good wishes. I wish you good wishes. That's how it rolls. So enjoy your fucking week and do some good shit. All right. I'm out.